were telling me that I don't make enough videos for the free-to-play players. So free-to-play players, this one is for you. In this video, we're going to figure out whether or not Matilda, that's right, Matilda is as good as people say she is in Canyon. Because I'm hearing some crazy rumors, and my friends, if we really can use Matilda to gain ridiculous amount of rank, <laughs> we're going to figure it out in this video. Hello, my friends, and welcome back. I'm Chiss School Gaming, champion of the free-to-play, or at least, I don't know, I'm going to do some free-to-play videos or more of them. So if you're interested in free-to-play videos, guides, tips, and tricks that help you get value and smash your enemies and rise of kingdoms, consider subscribing to the channel for daily Rise of Kingdoms videos. We're a sponsored content creator, and I've been hearing rumor that Matilda is just like crazy in Canyon, and I get it. She's got one ability here that's giving her 60% of stats, which is honestly insane like for an epic commander to even get 30 percent of stats normally that's like an entire skill slot plus the expertise skill over here and matilda be like yo whatever i got 60 right here boom boom double whatever you have so i can see why people think that she might be really good in canyon the suspicion here is that we can use her as a secondary to a commander like joan of arc who, by the way, has some really insane amounts of stats that she gives to, to siege units with this little-known talent, Expert Design, in the Support Tree. Now, we have actually used the Support Tree with siege units to defend and go positive against Attila Takeda, which is insane. Card up in the top if you want to see how we did that in KVK Season 5. But in this video, we're going to show you how we're going to take this normal run of the bill build we have on Joan of Arc now, switch it up to this crazy hijink siege unit canyon build, which by the way, up over here, you get 15% more defense for your siege too when you get below 50%. Oh my gosh. This actually could be really out of control. We're going to figure this out. So what we need to do, first of all, to figure out like, hey, is this performing better or not, is to just go and battle somebody so i went in and i challenged the number one player in our sunset canyon and i got i got obliterated yo i got they had like five marches left over and they were all half health so maybe that's not the best measure but we're gonna go switch up the build battle the same team see how we do see if we think it's better and then we're gonna go climb we're gonna go climb in lost canyon i've been sitting around 570 ish I climb up to like 300-ish, and then I can't get any further. So we're going to swap in this siege unit strategy and see if we can climb higher. If not, maybe not worth your effort, because here's the thing. Yeah, the idea that you can go and use a commander that's got a lot of stats for siege units is really cool, right up until you realize, wait a minute, who's been sitting on boatloads of siege gear? Not you, not me. You know where else you get a ton of stats? From equipment. And if you don't have equipment for this... Is it gonna work? I I I don't I don't know. I'm actually gonna craft siege gear. Don't do we'll figure out if you should do this, okay? So first things first, we're gonna swap the build. This is the build that I think you should be using. Matilda Canyon, baby. Matilda Canyon switch. Just yo, I got 15 resets. Ha! I'm made of resets. We're on my restart project right now, 45 million power account. Um that I barely spend on, I say barely spend, I mean, I you know buy the 30-day jump supply, so that's kind of a thing. And I keep that rolling pretty much all time, so 120 bucks a year is not nothing. And now, even without putting on some gear, all we did is we just made that one simple change. Let's go challenge the number one team. There they are, Pfft, easy, let's go challenge them. We're gonna switch up our canyon lineup a little bit here. We're going to take our Joan of Arc, who does need to be the primary. We are going to use mixed units here, but we are going to bring mostly Siege. We're going to bring the Matilda, the freaking Matilda. Okay, thanks game for giving me lots of infantry. The game was like, are you sure you want all those Siege? Yes, I do want all those Siege. We are also going to swap out our CPO, which I've really got some mixed feelings about. As a front line, he's actually very good. So we'll try this out and see how it goes. I'm not entirely convinced that this is going to be tankier than what i had before but maybe it is 
and we'll see what happens here. I mean, I think I'm just going to get super rolled, but what the heck? Let's find out. And then we'll try to climb against more normal opponents. I mean, dude, this Adiv has got like a crazy set of legendaries here. I mean, you can see all this stuff. Man, that's like a legit team. <laughs> that's like a legit team. Oh my gosh, my bottom lane is getting super rolled. The shields from Alexander the Great are nice, but like... Dude, it can't, it can't handle what's happening in bot lane. Top lane, actually the Matilda thing is kind of staying alive here. Not gonna lie. It's it's actually maybe doing a lot better. <laughs> okay. Okay, you have my attention game. This might actually be working better than what I had before. Maybe. Maybe. But the thing is, the end result is the same. Against this highly overpowered opponent, I'm still getting swarmed at the end by five marches. Did this matter at all? No. And I don't have equipment, which is the problem. So maybe we need to go craft some siege equipment here to notice any difference at all in how the team is going to perform. So let's close out of this. And the problem with making siege equipment is that it uses bones, man. And bones, you really don't want to take your pick one chest and convert them into bones because you're never going to get something you could use for like your real combat commanders but i happen to have a bunch of bone lying around apparently i happen to have this harvester's head scarf i guess i just go ahead and make this thing for six percent of stats and it's worth mentioning the siege unit stats you can get from equipment is astonishing okay when we talk about how astonishing is it you get six percent on the helmet 6% on the chest piece, 6% on the legs, 4% on the boots. For perspective, like that's more than you would normally get for a commander. I mean, here I got 2.5% infantry defense on that set. That's a blue item. It's really very good. But let's just go, we'll craft the headscarf. We'll start there. And um, to do that, I should get one thing real quick. Okay, our chances of getting a special talent have now more than doubled. We're going to hit quick forge. Yep, we're going to use up these materials and, all right, well, I don't know why I wear this stupid hat. Okay, let's go equip this thing to the Joan of Arc. We've got the headscarf on, and if we really wanted to go in, all in on this plan, we get 2% more siege attack. If we had two pieces of the windswept set, I don't really have an extra set of that handy, but you're like, we're foregoing a lot of stats right now by not having gear. I really think if you don't have the gear, this doesn't work. And if you don't have the gear, should you even bother with this? I don't know. Let's let's not judge too soon. Let's go to Lost Canyon and see if we can't rack up some crazy wins. So we're going to tackle the highest team we can find. This is what we normally do when we go into this game mode. We swap this commander out. That's fine. We're going to swap this commander out, bring in Matilda, bring this way down. And, you know, we want a, some mixed amount of troops here. I guess, I guess I don't need to have this many troop types in order to get the benefit of having the multiple troop types. Whatever, that's good enough. We'll go in over here, make sure we have our secondary like that. Drop down these troop types substantially. Boom, boom. So it's mostly infantry at this point. We'll hit ready over there. And let's do some battles and see how we do. The rest of our commanders have great gear. And in general, my Canyon team does a pretty gosh darn good job at pushing rank, I'd like to think. Uh, hopefully this will load. If not, we just get the result. Okay, well, we won. I guess we could go watch the replay to see how it did. But let's just go challenge somebody else here as we push rank. We'll tackle this opponent. I like to put my Sun Tzu in the bottom lane there. The Joan of Arcs in the middle to buff the Sun Tzu and the stuff that's up top. This looks pretty good. Let's see how this goes. Okay, so it's just gonna load and then take us to the result, which we won, by the way. This is good, still not outside the range of what I normally might be able to push in terms of rank. Let's try to get a good bit higher up. Let's go to the A-League. I can't remember the last time I've been in the A-League, if I've ever even been there. So if we get a look here, I mean, this team looks insane. How in the world could I possibly beat that? They, they, I mean, they would have to make some big mistakes. And actually, they have made some mistakes. I do see that their E-Song is in the bottom lane. Their E-Song is going to come across and do AoE on these two instead of all four. So it is conceivable that with the way they position their units that I might be able to beat it. Let's give this a shot and see how it goes. I mean, my Minamoto is not even max level. <laughs> oh, Chiskul. 
I've never been A League before, so if we win, this is going to be nuts. Okay, something's happening. Something's happening. Let's go to the history and see if we can get a replay on this. Give me the replay. All right, Matilda. All right, Matilda. You're doing stuff. Don't you just load and give me victory. I'm making a video right now. No. Nah! Load screen. Don't you do this to me. Don't you do this to me, load screen. I'm trying to prove a point. Yeah. So if we can't do that, let's just go tackle more crazy opponents that I should not be able to beat with the old Matilda strategy. We only got two attempts left. This opponent looks nuts. Looks pretty difficult to beat. I think if they have an Ethel fled with Esong, they also, man, everybody's messing up that Esong positioning. Remember, people, that on offense, your units charge forward and then go up and then go pew, 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 lasers on everybody up top. But on defense, they swing around the bottom. So his if his Esong's over here, which I think it is, they're going to march over and then come down like this and only hit two marches instead of all four. Don't make that mistake. All right, here we go. Can we beat this? We should not be able to beat this. This opponent looks insane. This would be the highest we have ever climbed in Canyon by far. Okay, defeat. Was I hyping that too much? One more attempt here to see how it goes. This opponent's even higher up in the ranks. There's no way I could beat this, right? They also have their E-Song in the wrong place. So that's curious as a choice. Okay, I guess we go for it. Let's see how we do. Defeat. Mm. I'm not inclined to believe that this is performing insanely better. Okay, so I did actually figure out a way that we can determine whether or not it's performing differently. And we can look at the fight where beforehand I used my old combination, an old Joan build, and afterwards I used Matilda with the new Joan build. And we can look at the number of units remaining in the enemy portion. So here, Medivh has 45k, 65k, 50k, 40k, and 70k. You'll remember all that, right? And if we go back over here, we see that they have 46k, 29k, 56k, 33k, and 61k. Actually, okay, I went and I did the math on how much better that was. And we're talking like a solid 51,000 units better in the version where I have the Matilda. I, I am inclined to believe that the Matilda is performing better here. The math, I mean, it tells the story here. Same team, battled twice. There's definitely some randomness from Alexander the Great Prox, but I don't know if we corroborate here the story that Matilda performs better with the fact that Hey, we swapped her in and we did see some better numbers and we didn't even have equipment on her. That's actually pretty good. Um, exactly how many stats, again, are we missing? To the tune of 20% of total stats. I mean, that's kind of a big deal. That's kind of like a full skill plus an expertise skill on your normal epic commander. So yeah, actually the equipment difference here is a big deal. Would I recommend that you go and create equipment for these shenanigans? Man, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. We can try to tackle a couple other teams here. Maybe we take on the number two team. Don't know if I can beat them here. They've also got a really great setup. Uh, not surprising that in my own kingdom, uh, folks know where to put their Esong. They've got the Esong Ethel Flood up. So this is gonna come across and then swing down and hit all four marches. I doubt I can beat it because they've positioned this correctly. Nope, no dice. So where does this leave us? I'm inclined to believe that Matilda is in fact performing better and I'm leaving her in my restart project team. And I'm gonna see how that performs over the coming week, especially on defense to see if we hold stronger than we have been. And I bet you we will. I think if we actually had the equipment to go with it, it would be definitely significantly stronger. But the problem is that we don't have the equipment and I don't think it's worth really allocating those precious materials toward bone, which again, can only be used for other gathering equipment. It can't be used for equipment that you want on other commanders. If you didn't know, leather is used primarily for cavalry gear, stone is used primarily for infantry gear, and the wood is used primarily for archer gear. So I don't want to make any bone. I don't want to use my pick ones on that. And I really don't think that you should either, unless you care a lot about Canyon, in which case, Honestly, the blue equipment is very easy to make in the grand scheme of things. You could whip up a set of equipment. You could perform better in Canyon and performing better in Canyon does net you some small amount of currency and lost Canyon, some small amount of rewards in your home kingdom. 
I don't think it's really all that worth it, but I think this is kind of a cool idea, fun to play around with. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, throw a like on here and leave a comment down below if you test this combo and it performs better, which I think that it will. Um, also, I do want to give just a quick shout out, although I received a bunch of messages from a bunch of people about using this combination. Uh, one of those folks that messaged me about it is another YouTuber, Not Casuals. I'll have a link in the description for their YouTube channel as well. And until next time, my friends, you have fun smashing the kingdom.